And yes, there will once again be a Sheridan in the White House! Think your FBI paper pushers are a match for Sheridan's assassins, Amos? I don't. Keep your opinions to yourself, General Carrington. As you know, we can't proceed with the investigation without proof. No one can stop me from conducting my own investigation, you hear me, Amos? Number 13 will soon no longer be a problem. Janet, I've just finished my rounds. Do you still need me in this area? Okay, I'll head back to HQ. Feels like today's gonna be a quiet one, huh? Did you see the water this morning? Whoa, what's that? Hold on. I'll call you right back. Sir, can you hear me? Easy. Looks like a bullet wound. Can you move your legs? I can't remember a thing. Do you think you can make it to the truck? Can you hear me? I'll take you to the first aid station. Try to walk. Be careful. Damn it. It's Janet. I just picked up an injured man on Brighton Beach. He's got no idea and can't remember a thing. I need to bring him in for a CAT scan as soon as possible. An hour? Perfect. We're on our way. How are you feeling? Still no memory? I found this key in your pocket. Ever heard of Winslow Bank? Here. Who's that? Not a good time. Tell the Mongols we spotted the target. I'll report back when it's done. 
Get over here! He's alive but in bad shape! Freeze! It's payback! Mr. Roland? It's been such a long time. I assume you want to access your safe? May I have your key? <clears throat> right this way, please. As you can see, we've upgraded our security system. You can't be too careful in today's world, right? Hello, James. Mr. Roland would like to access his safe. Hello, Mr. Roland.
It's still at the far end of the room. to number one. What do you plan on doing on that boat? Confidential, huh? Oh, I get it. Well, if it's another one of that girl's ideas, I'd watch her six. She's nothing but trouble. fallen into my own trap. Well, well. I don't get this security system. Alarm is driving me crazy. If this robber would just take a hostage, then we could shut the damn thing off. Here. Calling all units in the vicinity of Wilson Bank. Please come in. Central 
this is CAR-5. The unit is already at the scene. Copy that, CAR-5. Standing by. Sheridan. Amnesia, eh? Indeed, there is no better defense. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, Bannon, will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to... What good's a lawyer when you can't remember a thing? In your deposition, you even added that you don't feel like a killer. How touching. But the law doesn't operate on feelings, now does it? It operates on evidence, which I have in spades. Emre, the snapshots, please. Look at this photograph. See the impact on the back of the head? Where did the bullet come from, in your opinion? That building there, see? Right in the line of sight. And who have we here? Well, need I get a mirror, or are you finally going to confess to the assassination Agent of- Agent Scott, line one. So where's that file? You're not going to believe this, Colonel. Steve Rowland's military file is missing from the Pentagon. And they're positive your man was killed in a mission down in Mexico over two years ago. Well, his widow's in for a surprise. But before we announce your resurrection, Captain Rowland, we're going to... What the devil's going on here? Hey. Don't move. I'll get you out of those cuffs. Great to see you again, Steve. Listen, Mongoose has found you. Meet me on the roof. And don't go using G-Men for target practice, okay? The girl from the bank. Preposterous. Hold on. They just blew up the door. What? Do they realize who they're messing with? Alert! Wow! 
where to got a tattoo! Guys got undercover officers in Brooklyn. That's where the guy was transferred. Hurry, one ten store. Hey, over here. Seeing me again doesn't do anything for you, does it? I can't believe it. You really have lost your memory. Who are you? I'm Major Jones, first officer for General Carrington. Ring a bell? Carrington went missing three days ago. He was leading a parallel investigation into President Sheridan's assassination. He's the only one who can get you out of this mess. It's not safe here. Over the wall, let's go. Here. I'll go first. Now you! I'm waiting on a call from an informant. He knows where they're holding Carrington. Over there, with the woman!
They're out of range. Use the scope. Good job. All clear. Get a running start. Show off with a single shot? No kidding. Holy shit, <laughs> Cowboys just ain't what they used to be. No time to check the view. Let's go. Shouldn't have let you go on that boat alone. Jones, do you read me? I've got the 
info. Roger that. What do you got? Carrington's been arrested by General Stanwell. He's being held at Emerald, an isolated army base in the Appalachian Mountains. I still don't know why Stanwell wants to keep Carrington away from the Pentagon. I'm telling you, they're in there! the security system. I can't reach the landing strip. I can't let you through without clearance. Hey, wait! What are you doing? Hold it! Stop! No! Let's roll! One more down. We'll move the button. Rescue Carrington and get the hell out. I'll be waiting for you out back. This can't be good. Get your undies in a bundle. What is your major malfunction? McCall's gonna kill us! Shut up!
What the? I'll Open the crates and start sorting the weapons! We load the truck in one hour! Move your asses! Deactivate the four main generators. They're pumping 10,000 volts through the ladder.
Head for the roof. You should find a way in. The map shows a ventilation shaft in the cliff. Use your grappling hook to get down there. working with on the Sheridan case. If he clams up, take his cigars. Tell him get the fuck off him.
of institutionalized and plain rock? Shut up and let me think! Hey, did you hear me, son? Did you hear me, son? Did you hear me, son? You've got nothing left to prove with the spats, son. I've got a Class A hero mission to offer you. I must question this man. Cigars? Shut up, Carrington! Why did they stick me in here? Am I dreaming? My God! I can't believe it! My best man alive! Here's your HF transmitter. Jones, can you read me? What? What do you mean, amnesia? Ah, <laughs> oh, my cigars. <laughs> Look at this half-wit. Let's take care of them. Ready? Ready, son? Hey, Aaron boy, come here. I gotta take another leak. I'm gonna kill him. What 
Together. Cover me. There's a ski lift behind the base. An exit! This way! Ever gonna work? Yeah, once you find the damn fuse! <laughs> Those idiots still haven't found a way to fix this station. Get rid of these clowns. I'll brief Jones. Where's that? Huh? Alert! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All clear. Jones is waiting for us down there. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Did you hear that? Cover me. Plug in the fuse and start this TOS. Let's get the hell out of here.
Your amnesia really set us back, son. Damn, we were so close to finding the bastards. The night you disappeared, you were about to ID number one. But naturally, none of that rings a bell now. Listen, there are 20 of them, son. 20 conspirators hiding behind numbers. Captain Steve Rowland was one of them. The notorious number 13. He killed the president, but his accomplices betrayed him and hired the mongoose to kill him. And today, he actually is dead. Well, then, who am I? They're back. Watch out! Get down! The cable's gonna snap! I hit my back. I'll go first and create a diversion. Cover me. Gotta find a place. RPG, 12 o'clock. Watch out! There they go again! Not half bad. Okay. Is the coast clear? Yeah, go! The chopper's just past the hill. We're gonna make it. Watch out. Another arm. <laughs> The chopper won't stop. I need your help, General. Follow me. Cover us. I'll take a look at the engine. What's the target? 
they look like? I don't even have a picture. You see a woman who freaks out when she sees you. Just grab her. Huh? <laughs> <Find the girl. laughs> Welcome to Kansas, Dorothy! My God, you're alive! Kim, the girl in the photo. The surgeon did an outstanding job. It's coming too. Increase the dose of the fentanyl. Shall I start the tattoo? Go ahead. How do you feel, son? This is the widow of Steve Rowland, the man whose identity you've taken. Steve was number 13. I was 17. The leaders of the conspiracy had my husband killed by the mongoose. But Steve managed to drag himself back here before dying. One day, I'll know the faces of those who betrayed him. I want them all to burn. You hear me? Even number one. 
And I want to find the bastard who put the hit on my friend Sheridan. Now why? <clears throat> when they see Steve's ghost, they'll slip up. They might also figure out you betrayed them, Kim. Keep a weapon hidden in here, just in case. Hey, can you hear me? Listen, I've identified three members of the conspiracy. They're headed for the Spads camp to attend a secret meeting. You have to be there too. My part of the mission is finished. Now it's your turn. I found it. What the? Now that I'm cured, Doctor, may I reintegrate my unit? <laughs> pinhead! Pinhead! McCauley's a pinhead! <laughs> Listen, Colonel! Has our new patient recovered his wits? So, my friend, I hear you suffer from amnesia. Yes, sir, Colonel! Shut up! Relax. Plain Rock is blessed with an excellent neurology center. Well, has she spoken? Patience, he only just came to. Number one wants the names of his accomplices. That number 17 imposter may not be the only one who's infiltrated the group. Examine his chest as well. Tell me if you find traces of the three bullets I put in him. I'm starting to doubt this man's identity. 
I'll take care of it right away. Hose him down and bring him to me. Soldier. Dr. Johansson's orders. Derek and Jerry will be disappointed. What's wrong with him? Okay. Oh, you lucky dog. Got the whole bathroom all to yourself.
Fashion Square thanks you for your patronage and wishes you a very fine day. Thank you, Miss Jameson. Please come again. Why won't you talk to me, Miss Jameson? It's not that bad. Come on, put your head back on. I have a brand new line of turtles to show you. Good evening, Dr. Ma Michael. <sighs> Good evening, Brenda. Anything new in the amnesiac? Still nothing. <laughs> Good God, Johansson is livid. I can't stand him anymore. I'm going home. <laughs> Tell him my wife is about to give birth. My poodle is having <laughs> a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Oh, the poor thing. I remember when my Lulu... Whatever, Brenda. See you tomorrow. Congratulate your wife for me. Oh! isn't stimulating enough, is it? What about this one? <laughs> now tell me, who killed the war seniors? I, I, I don't know! He died before uh, experiencing another rat. <laughs> Ugh, the least they could do is seal the vent from the morgue. Dr. Johansson, I don't understand. The door is locked. Number 13. 
The doctor will see you now. Come on! Time for your dissection course! Over here! The sanctuary. There are twenty of them, son. Twenty conspirators hiding behind numbers. Gentlemen, it's an honor to welcome the leaders of the group to my estate. And as the prestige of these surroundings is in keeping with our ambitions, I hereby offer you the opportunity to organize our general meeting here. You don't have a choice! Jones, do you read me? Loud and clear. I'm flying overhead. Get out of there. Hurry. Oh my god. Open this door, damn it! Oh god, save me! I'm a wheel drop. Just don't hurt me, please. Alert! You won't get anywhere in this ambulance. We're in the middle of the desert. There's nothing for miles. This is insane. They're gonna kill you like a dog. Watch out! I don't know who you are, but I'll never forget you. Hey! Good luck! Who was that? Stop playing around, will you? Mongoose and his men are coming down hard. Here fast, the meter's running. You feel me? Alert! He got- 
got Vince! Fuck! Give me the RPG! I'll put an end to this! Suck on that!
Fan! You okay? There's a way out behind the room. The plane's close by. Jones, finally. I feel like I've spent three months inside a tin can. Okay. What do you say we hop on down to Mexico, Captain? Hmm. Margaritas on the beach? More like Rangers and Red Berets. Tighten up your panties. We're going super sun. Colonel McCall runs this badge training camp, and Kim suspects he's part of the conspiracy. You won't be running into many intellectuals down there, mostly black ops and knucklebraggers. This could be another one of that blonde's con jobs. I trust her. Uh-huh. You save her life, and she splits. Jealous, Major? Just get in the damn boat. near the watchtower. of number 13. Oh, the mongoose will surely take care of him. Now, let's not bother number one. In any case, 13 has no power to disrupt the plan. My men are standing by, General Standwell. He's been causing quite a ruckus since his resurrection. 
but our first maneuvers are going ahead as planned. I admire your optimism, Colonel McCall. Now, how about a tour of the camp? I'd like to have a look at our weapon stock. <laughs> now find McCall 10 and plant the bug. His name's on the tip of my tongue. Steve Roland? No, his rival. Oh, I remember. They were always competing. Damn. It'll come back to me. Whatever happened. I think General Carrington hired him. That was the last I heard. I got it! Fly! His name was Jason Fly! Hey, Fly! I'm out on leave tonight, so don't make me look bad while I'm out. Just because you won yesterday's exercise doesn't make you a hero around here. Steve Rowland, the man whose identity I took. Too much chili. Which tent are you sleeping in again?
No one can see us here. You want one? No thanks. Saving your lungs for the maneuvers? Yeah, I can't wait for the action to start. Ah, it's just a simulation, you know. I have a feeling there'll be more to it than we expect. Get around, gentlemen. This is number 11. Do you read me? Affirmative. Go ahead, number three. Good evening, number one. President Galbraith still believes in a simulated state of war and has just authorized the SPADs to supervise the army during the maneuvers. Over. Good. Number five. I'll be receiving the list of those supporting the cause tomorrow. Number nine will hand it to me at the plaza. Over. Number eleven. The arms shipment will arrive tonight. My men are eager to serve the cause. Over. I have his military file here. I removed it from the Pentagon to block the FBI's investigation. Good. As for number 17, no need to continue this search. I have something here that she will definitely come and claim. This meeting is adjourned, gentlemen. Good night. I'll walk you out. It was a privilege to meet you, Colonel McCall. He's even more impatient than his men, isn't he, Colonel? Very perceptive of you, General. <laughs> I just got all that on tape. Now find Roland's file. You can blow this thing wide open.
Nice work. Now get back to the boat. Son of a bitch, he's gonna pay for this! One underestimated your skills. He wants to reintegrate you into the group. Drop your weapon, man. Let's talk about.
Stop loading! She figured I'd take her out to the romantic.
Reporting is ordered, Captain. I don't want to be disturbed for the next 15 minutes. Yes, sir, Captain. This is number seven. I repeat, this is number seven. This is number one. Over. I moved up the USS Patriot's departure for the protection of the shipment. The Spatz camp has suffered heavy losses. Number 11 is no longer with us. Change your course and cast off for Maryland Harbor aboard Resolute AFDM-10, but carry out your mission. Number one, I was so close. I just have to remember his face. USS Patriot, report your destination. Over. Destination Maryland aboard Resolute AFDM-10. Over. Copy that. Out. Outer deck submerged. Four and a half submerged. Maintain heading 12 degrees. Aye, aye. Here's a nice spot to stow away. Who 
is there. Close all hatches and escort me to the torpedo chamber. You neutralize the intruder. You'll never make it out alive, Roland. We'll both blow up with the missiles. I'd rather die here than tell number one we failed.
What are they doing in there? We've got less than an hour to unload everything. Jones, do you read me? <clears throat> I'm just leaving the airport now. Carrington's taking it from here. He'll pick you up outside Hangar 33. Bad place to be. I better turn back.
stay posted at the hangar entrance. I'll find out what's going on in HQ. So jumpy. McCall hasn't radioed for 24 hours. I heard the camp's gonna be relocated. Alert!
General Carrington tells me you have a present for me. Give him Roland's file, son. Captain Steve Roland faked his own death, officially killed in action. After that, he was free to assassinate the president without anyone suspecting him. But he didn't plan on getting squeezed by his employers. Yes, killed by the mongoose. Yet he somehow got back to his wife's house, where he died. Kim Rowland is the one who came up with the dead ringer idea. I arranged for this man to undergo plastic surgery in order to make him resemble Steve Rowland. The bait worked like a charm. The wolves came out of their den. Colonel Amos, this man is innocent. It's high time we started sharing our information. What do you think? They're preparing a coup, General. Two of them are meeting tonight, and I know where.
Winslow's retreated to the billiard room. Come on! This way! The room at the end of the hall! Destroying these documents. I don't smoke, Mr. Winslow. Then give me your gun, damn it! We've lost Willard. He can't get away. You underestimate our power! You un underestimate our power! and find their meeting room. I can't wait to see number one's face. They must be on high alert. Keep out of sight until I give you the signal. Matthews and I spent the entire weekend sanding the ship's hull. Next Sunday, we'll apply the anti-fouling. Shut up with the boats. Making me seasick. Hey, 
Check, Check this out. Alert! Number one safety is not an issue, General. I'm the only one who knows his identity. Anonymity is more effective than an army of bodyguards. The instructions are clear. We're going ahead with operations. In that case, we'd better go reassure our guests. Um, don't forget your robe. Stay posted in this room. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Who's got cash for a mansion like this? Senator Willard. The voice of our country's elite will soon be heard. Together, we will lay down the foundations of a new America. Proud, strong, and sound. An America purged of all the parasites that have for too long deprived it of its true grandeur. Colonel Aim is here. Don't move in before my signal. We need as much information as possible before I launch the assault.
The maneuvers will be launched tomorrow morning during Operation Total Red. When number three gives the signal, the SPADS units, supervising the armed forces, will impose martial law on the entire country. In less than 24 hours, the new government will be in place. Let us rejoice in advance at the success of our enterprise and duly celebrate the dawn of a new era! <sighs> Let's not keep the buffet waiting, gentlemen. Senator Walter Sheridan? Carrington told me everything. I want to help you apprehend my brother's killers. There are 20 conspiracy leaders, all of them with influential positions. Their goal is to abolish democracy in our country by imposing a totalitarian regime. Theirs is a monstrous plan. 
They aim to take control of the country's strategic network during the war simulation tomorrow. The control center is located in SSH-1. I have access there any time of day or night. That's where we'll find number one. I'm going with you. And then, General, we'll resume our little chat where we left off. Run to accounting and ask them any question you can come up with about the budget. That'll justify our presence here. As for us, Colonel Marshall, we're heading to the command station. Senator Sheridan's delegation has just arrived. Yes, Mr. President. The President's advisor will see you now. After you, Senator. Welcome to SSH-1, Senator Sheridan. Hello, Calvin. Splendid of you to see us. There's a bit of a problem, Walter. Colonel Marshall cannot accompany us. I have strict orders from President Galbrain. But I... Our staff is overworked, sir. The President prefers sparing them any added aggravation. I apologize, Colonel Marshall. Let's go, Sheridan. Operations are about to be launched. I'll walk you out, Colonel. Good day, Colonel. Um, uh, good evening, Colonel. I have seen you in my dreams, seas, read by a million streams, tears were raining down. Yes, sir. Colonel Marshall has left the premises.
Damn busted coffee machine ate my change. Doing an SSH one during an election campaign. This is sheer provocation. Hi. Might I remind you that he's on the Congressional Budget Committee, which entitles him to oversee the way in which we spend taxpayers' money. He picked a fine day to do it. By the way, where the hell are my bodyguards? <clears throat> As a matter of fact, sir. Just a second, Calvin. Give me some change. Mr. President, sir. The spads have been assigned to your protection for the duration of Total Red. Those hotheads? But, Mr. President... Nothing but the dregs of society, recruited by McCall. Confound it! Not one machine on this base works! Mr. President. But if you feel they're the best, Calvin, I trust you. Cooper here. I was to escort President Galbraith to the control station, but I haven't heard anything. Can you find out what's up? Okay, over. Hold on! Why is this door locked? Uh. Hold on! Number 13, back among us? Help! God, call off all operations before it's too late. <sighs> Take the press. 
resident to a safe place and find Sheridan. I've lost contact. Wait, Colonel, quick! I'll look after him. Just leave him right here. Mr. President, can you hear me? Okay, he's breathing. Assault teams are in position around the strategic network centers. Huh? Prepare to declare a state. Kill this man! Now! <laughs> Number 13, listen to me. We can still negotiate. Emergency destruction sequence engaged. Evacuate the premises immediately. It's carrying. We've located Galbraith, but he's out of commission. No one knows the access code for the missile control room. Find him and abort the process. It's your only chance. <laughs> the 
There's 2,000 megatons ready to blow right under us. Come on, we've got to leave the base. It's too late. Give me the access code. The code? This way. This is not good. Greetings, number 13. Or is it Jason Fly? You'll have to sort that out before they engrave your tombstone. Miss that old bastard. This way. <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
Scare me like that again, and I'll take you out myself. Come on, let's evac now. Magnificent son of a bitch. You okay, Wally? Is it really over? You bet your ass. <laughs> Tell me you have no information about my past, General. Son, the day I recruited you, I didn't ask for your resume. I've always hired my boys based on their skills, and you were a cut above. Hmm, what about Jones? You always appreciated her discretion. Hey, she's invited too. Maybe she'll know something. As a matter of fact, here he is, Jason Fly, our national hero. It's a great honor. Hey, Fly! How do you like my new uniform? Well? Baby, you are smoking. I know. What did you do? Lose your razor? And you're funny, too. I know. Not interested, huh? <sighs> Carrington is anxious to speak with you. Go see him. After that, I've got a few words for you myself. Ah, there he is. Hey, where's your tuxedo? Hello, Fly. Finally we meet under better circumstances. Let's go to the front of the party, everybody! This is 
the Mongoose. I repeat, this is the Mongoose. Number one, do you copy? Number one here. I copy loud and clear. Can you see him? Who's number one? Tell me, quick! Are the fireworks not to your liking, Mr. Fly? <laughs>